In this lesson, I will show you how to control a character in Scratch using the up, down, left, and right arrows on your keyboard. So we'll go straight into it again. Scratch, uh, type Scratch in your Google search box. And the first link that comes up is scratch.mit.edu. We'll click on that. And we can get down to programming straight away. Just hit the Create button on top. Now, um, in this game, what we want to do is control this character here, the sprite, and make him go left, right, up and down, according to the arrow we press on the computer keyboard. So that means we need a new command over here. So under sensing, uh, if you think of what we're trying to do, the character is trying to sense something external to him. So he wants to sense an arrow being pressed. So that's why we go to the sensing buttons here. And we, we drag out this, this option here key space pressed and we're going to change that to any any button on the keyboard we like and in our case we want to change it to for the moment we change it to right arrow so that means the arrow to move your character to the right now you see that there's a question mark attached with me which means it's part of, of a bigger structure and that structure is found under control so you go to the control uh, options here and we bring out this if statement and you can see that uh, it's a perfect fit, the diamond shape. Uh, you drag that into the if. And now it reads properly because, because what it's saying is if the key, if the right arrow is pressed, then you do something. So um, we'll come to that the next thing um, in a minute. But just to understand that part first, if the key, if the right arrow is pressed, it's going to, to do whatever command uh, goes in here. OK, so now we're going to decide what to make it do and we're going to go back to motion and we want to move him 10 steps to the right so drag that in there so now it says if the, if the right arrow is pressed we move the character 10 steps to the right now to start any game in scratch you have to go to events and we need the, the green flag to start the whole thing off so drag that in there now you'll notice um if we click it this time and start our game as it stands nothing actually happens um, even if you press the, the right arrow nothing happens so we're missing something else and what we're missing is i suppose the character has to be on alert at all stages during the game because the, the right arrow is not constantly pressed during a game he has to be on alert always forever uh, during the game for the right arrow to be pressed so that's the next thing we need is, is the forever um block as it's called so we go back to control and we want him to be on alert forever for the, for the right arrow to be, to be pressed. So that goes in first. So forever, we want to be on alert and drag the if into the middle there. And you see the way it opens up automatically for you. So I'll drag that in. So now what it does is it's, it's on constant alert for the right arrow to be pressed. And when it's finally pressed, he, he moves. So if, you, if we run the game, click on the green arrow, nothing happens at first on the green flag. But as soon as you hit the right arrow, he now starts moving. So that part of the game is working. And that's how you, you test your game. You test it step by step like that. Now, the thing is, to make it more interesting, obviously, we want, we want him to move in any direction, up, down, left, or right. So we need to uh, get that out of there for a minute. And we can repeat that four times for each direction. So you can right, you can right click on it, and you can duplicate. So right click with the mouse, hit duplicate and we've got another one there and do it again so if we right click over those two we can now duplicate and now we've got two more but of course we've got to change all these uh, to match up with let me close this thing down here as well we've got to um match these up with the arrows now so maybe right arrow is the first one then the we have to do a command for the left arrow, right, left, up and down. So this one would be up arrow, and the next one is down arrow. Now there's one more correction. The move command, the move command is fine, um, but it's 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 more restricted than a different command which we can use instead. 
And the other command we're going to use is this one down here, which is change x by 10. X means horizontal, so that means change the horizontal direction by 10. And that's a more powerful command to use. So we'll, we'll take out the move commands here. We can actually delete them, drag them down here. Uh, let's get rid of that. And uh, get rid of that one. And um, the second one, to go left, you got to change x by minus 10. So plus 10 is to the right up here. Minus 10 means move to the left. So minus means move backwards. And the same with the up and down. Uh, we take out the move statement um, here and here. And we put in change y this time, because y is, if x is horizontal, y is vertical. So I change y by plus 10 to go up and change y by minus 10 to go down. So we put a minus in there. Minus 10. Oops, we'll just change that again. Minus 10. So that's the four directions uh, we've it all covered. And we finally, again, drag that back into the forever, what's called the forever loop. So you drag it into the middle of the forever. It should open up for us here. So we'll just um, drag the whole lot in. And that should be it. Let's just test our code now. So um, when it's lit up with the yellow like this, this means that the program is still up. So I've moved something there by accident. We'll just drag that back. Okay. So when it's lit up like that, that means the code is still running. So to stop the code running, you just hit the stop button. Now we hit start again. So that's the green flag. Now test our code. Try the right arrow. Uh, try the left arrow. So the right and left are certainly working. And up and down are working as well. So that's the end of that lesson.